The Pope is the head of the Roman Catholic Church. To say it right up front, the Roman Catholic Popes of our time, like Benedict XVI and the current Pope Francis, are from a different planet, even from a different universe than the Popes old Martin Luther had to deal with. You can like the Pope or not. You can agree with the Pope or not, but one thing is certain. Benedict and Francis have been to seminary. They are ordained priests who have been in the service of the Roman Catholic Church all their lives, and they served with a distinction. They were not elected Pope because they look good in white, but because when they talk about Roman Catholic doctrine or canon law, they know what they're talking about, and they inspire their flocks from the cardinal down to the ordinary people on the streets. They would never say things like this. God gave us a papacy, now let's enjoy it. No, these words were entered into historical memory by Pope Leo X. He was Pope from 1513 to 1521, the time when Martin Luther nailed his 95 Theses to the church door in Wittenberg, the event that sparked the Reformation. Leo was an illustrious character, to say the least. He was not even a priest when he was elected Pope. They ordained him after he was elected. He was a member of the notorious Medici family who played a major role in Renaissance Italy. They had their fingers in everything. Nothing moved without them. The Mafia is a hapless band of amateurs compared to them. They turned making crooked political deals into an art form that inspires shady power grabbers and would-be dictators to this very day. The Medici's political intrigues made Giovanni di Lorenzo de' Medici into Pope Leo X. Leo was a big patron of the arts. He pushed the building of St. Peter in Rome. He was a warlord, a politician, and a friend of wine, food, and women, and he was constantly broke. He needed cash badly, and so he sold salvation. That infuriated Martin Luther, and his anger kicked off the Reformation, which Leo could not contain. And the result was that the medieval church split, and no pope since then could put it back together again.